Hello and welcome. My name is Vicky Marie and for today's brief flow, we're going to be opening up the hips and getting the energy moving throughout the body. So when you're ready, coming to your easy seated position, that could be legs staggered or crossed, anything that brings you the most ease. And just taking a few moments in your chosen easy seated position. And rolling the shoulder blades down the rib cage and beginning to connect with your breath. Just taking a few rounds of breath through the nose. We're going to begin to invite some movement to begin to circle at the waist. And you can begin to spiral the chest, really rounding the spine as you do so. And we're going to begin by taking a twist. So when you're ready, slowly beginning to invite your left hand to your right shin. As I face you, I'm aspiring to mirror you. Taking that right hand behind you. And we're going to begin to gently releasing the twist, taking that left hand down to the thigh, right arm going up and maybe over. This hand can travel staying on the thigh, maybe coming to the waist or the rib cage. Exhaling, releasing that right hand down, left arm going up and over. And add a gentle pulse if that feels good. And inhaling the arms up overhead. We're going to begin to take that twist on the other side. So right hand to that left shin near thigh. If you want a little bit more leverage, you can take the back of that right hand to the near the thigh. Releasing the palm, beginning to take that left arm up and over. Releasing that left hand, right arm going up and then over. Gently beginning to release that right hand. We're going to begin to come in to a figure of four. So I'm just going to change my angle. I'm just going to begin to bring the soles of the feet to the earth. Bring the hands behind you for support. We're going to begin to invite our left ankle onto the right thigh. So just beginning to come into your figure of four. Taking the hands a little bit closer to the sit bones. This right foot might stay where it is or you might begin to Bring it a little bit closer. Just getting a lovely stretch on that left side. We're going to begin to take a gentle twist. So I'm going to invite you to take this left foot and let it begin to rock over to the right. As so we begin to bring that right foot near the left sit bone. Right hand's coming to that left knee, maybe elbow, if you need a little bit more leverage. Then I'm beginning to release the twist. We're going to fold over our legs, bowing the head down. Inhaling, beginning to lift, taking the hands behind you, detangling the legs, coming back with the soles of the feet in contact with the earth. We're going to take this on the other side. So simply beginning to invite that right ankle onto the left thigh, making any adjustments, maybe flexing the toes or pointing.
slowly beginning to release that right foot down, inviting that left heel towards the sit bone. We'll take that twist. So it might somebody be hugging the knee, or you might take the elbow. Right hand coming behind. Releasing the twist. We're going to come into our fold, maybe stacking the knees, folding down. Inhaling, lifting. We're going to take the hands behind us, detangling the legs. And we're going to be coming into a reverse table. So you might stay right here. We might begin to press into the feet and the hands, lifting the front of the body. Gently beginning to release the sit bones down, crossing the ankles as we begin to roll over to our tabletop position. I'm just taking a few rounds of cat-cow here, tucking and rounding. Slowly beginning to come back to your tabletop position. We're going to begin to take this left leg behind us. We're going to begin to come into our first lizards, beginning to lift maybe bending the knee towards the elbow and planting that left foot on the outside. And you might stay here. If you want to take it a little bit further, you can tuck and lift that right knee. Just add a little bit of sway or circle. Hands might come a little bit further forward. And gently beginning to come back to stillness. Gently releasing that right knee if we've lifted it. Take a gentle twist. Inhaling, lifting up that left arm. We can stay here, maybe bending that right knee. Okay, grabbing a hold. If you do have hold of that foot, just have a gentle pressing into that right hand, spiraling the chest. And gently beginning to release that left hand back down. We're going to begin to come into a downward dog. So tucking that back toe, lifting the knee, breast stroking that left leg back, and then downward dog. And you can pedal or maybe settling in. And beginning to release the knees down. We're going to take our lizard on the other side. So we're going to extend that right leg. Lifting, bending, and planting. Keeping that left knee where it is, maybe tucking and lifting. Again, spiraling. Gently beginning to release that left knee, coming into that twist, inhaling that right arm up. Staying here, maybe bending the left knee, maybe grabbing hold. Gently beginning to release that right hand down. We're going to tuck and lift that left knee. Coming back into a three-legged dog, taking that right leg back. And then down. Gently beginning to release the knees. We're going to come into a toe balance and then a yogic squat. So we're going to walk the hands towards the knees, lifting the knees from the earth. And for some, this might be enough for our squatting. If you want to take a little bit further, you can take the hands inside of the knees and walking the feet out. Now, some of us might have our feet out to the side or facing. Into your toe balance or yogic squat. Hands can stay in contact with the earth or beginning to lift 
them up, palms facing each other, regardless of which pose you're in. And then gently releasing. And beginning to walk the hands forward, gently releasing the knees. Begin to come to seated. So the knees might stay wide, or might take the knees in towards each other. And I'm just going to take a gentle twist, taking that right hand to the left knee, left hand to the hip, or maybe the earth. Head or eyes can look over that left shoulder. And gently release and coming back to your center. I'm going to take this on the other side to your choice with that right hand. And gently releasing. Taking the hands together in the heart space and gently bowing the head to the hands in gratitude for investing in your well being and your practice. Thank you for sharing this brief flow with me. If you'd like to check out any of my other videos, particularly with the hips or shoulders, there's a link in the description. Hit like and subscribe, and I'll see you again soon.